everybody, my name is Prince, and welcome to yet another reaction video. Today we're reacting to some more Nukes Top 5, and this is Top 10 Ghost Video, so scary I had to have emergency surgery. And <laughs> um, it's been a little bit since we reacted to yet another Nukes Top 5 video, and we're going to change that today by reacting to yet another. And as at the time of this recording, this is the last one I currently have up to date and added to my playlist because I cannot keep track of every single one that comes out because I don't get a notification most of the time. So I ended up missing out on one and then completely skipping over it to another video. So I do not have every single one he had made since my computer went down up to date. So I will try and go back, see what I've recorded, go back and see what I have watched, what I haven't, because I remember most of them, them off the top of my head, especially the clips that are in them that I watched. So I will try and make that a thing in the future to keep an eye out for. So with that being said, I don't think there's anything else really to say. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this video in three, two, one. Where's my cursor? Boom. I didn't want to make sure I hit halfway into the video because <laughs> I will do that if I'm not paying attention. River's Edge. Cambodian paranormal investigation team RC Fun TV2 travels to an allegedly haunted area along the bank of a river. The locals tell stories of many horrible incidents that have taken place in this small area, right at the river's edge. First, it is said that a young boy was swept away in a mudslide in this area, and sadly, he perished in the flood. Another tale recounts that a man took his own life at the river's edge. And then, even more tragedy, because the graves Jeez. of several children can be found here buried along the river bank. Ugh. Because this spot has such a horrible history, the RC Fun TV team decides to leave offerings and prayers for any distressed spirits that might be unable to move on. Sorry about that. Let's get back to it. The team decides to leave offerings and prayers for any distressed spirits that might be unable to move on to the other side. <sighs> and not long after leaving their offerings, the paranormal investigators spot something truly terrifying. Stop with them. What was that? It just looked back. It's still there. Way he just he just dove into the water. The investigators spot what appears to be a man sitting on the edge. Oh of the my river. god. <laughs> but something is very off about the mysterious figure. The man is extremely pale and his face is unrecognizable. When the team attempts to get closer, the stranger disappears underwater never to be seen again okay the that's RC creepy Fun tv team say that they might have just seen the spirit of the man that took his own life on the riverbank or perhaps even the boy that drowned in the flood but is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax you decide doesn't Stay look like away. any of the members it's late in the afternoon when a cctv camera in the city of angol chile captures a teenage girl presumably walking home from school what happens next is absolutely chilling. It's just a dog and a girl. And there's somebody in the background getting on their bike. And there's the car. walking down a secluded alleyway when a silver Nissan pulls up to the teenager and a man can be seen talking to the girl 
with a weapon in his hand. Yeah. He's terrified and instinctively walks backward away from the car. When the men then back up their car to follow her, suddenly a little stray dog comes running out of nowhere and aggressively starts barking at the dangerous strangers. The little dog effectively saves the teenage girl from what we can only yeah. assume would have been a horrible attempted thing. kidnapping. The video about the heroic little dog went viral on the internet, with many people giving praise to the stray for recognizing the threat and protecting a complete stranger from harm. Now without a source, I unfortunately don't know what happened to the little dog after it ran out of frame. But as for the footage, it just goes to show again that human beings are always scarier than any ghost or spirit. Nuke said it best. Nuke said it best. I said the same thing in my last one too. In my previous Nuke's Top 5 video. He said it the best. Not a helping hand. This next video was posted to Facebook by Marla Teixeira Hernandez from Richmond, California. Marla says that she was rearranging some furniture in her son's bedroom and recorded a video of the room's final look to show to her daughter. But when she watches her video back, she spots something downright chilling. Marla says she was completely alone in the room when what appears to be a little hand Oh, I didn't even see that. behind her son's cabinets. Even creepier, viewers pointed out that a man's voice seems to quietly whisper, Don't be afraid to die. Now, Marla posted the video to Facebook in okay. hopes of getting any thoughts or Doesn't ideas sound like that she to might me. have captured. She says that other than one strange incident with a fan switch turning itself off and on in her son's room, She's never really experienced anything paranormal in the house. So what do you think this is? Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Because that scared my mom. <laughs> the following is a very old video from the depths of the internet. Source unknown. So. A group of friends are hanging out, drinking and having a good time in the woods of Flacy, France. Suddenly, they spot what they believe to be a dog hiding behind a tree. Oh, I've seen this old video. I've seen this years ago. I've seen this old video. Something otherworldly can be seen moving around behind the tree. Something with long fingers and an unusually large skeletal head. The video abruptly cuts and what happens next remains a mystery. So could it be that the group had an encounter with an alien? Or just what is that? Let me know what you think. Hunt I saw that clip of that creep of that uh video like maybe six seven years ago over on chill's channel so i'm very well familiar with that video the unknown paranormal investigator alex from the youtube channel hunting the unknown sets out to investigate a restaurant in england that's been abandoned for over 20 years the owners of the restaurant are said to have abruptly fled the property after being tormented by severe paranormal activity. The abandoned and broken down structure is located deep in the middle of the woods, and Alex is all is. alone as he begins his investigation. Why are you alone? 
After setting up a motion detecting music box in the bar section of the restaurant, Alex already begins to experience strange activity. I've got a music box set up at the moment. Just doing a little walkthrough. Hello? There goes the door. A static camera captures the moment a door slams by itself. But things are about to get even weirder. Alex decides to do a spirit box session in the hopes of catching some paranormal activity. Where are you? Can you give me a sign, please? Oh, oh there you go. go. I hope that wasn't a bottle of cider. <laughs> or Angry Orchard, rather. Alex asks for a sign, and bottles sitting on the bar seem to be pushed over on their own. But it's when he takes a closer look at the bottles that he captures something truly disturbing. I just don't understand how these were knocked down. I don't see anything. I'm pretty sure this is like that. Hello? Oh. So I think it's just sitting there. It's gone. I think he noticed. Too much there. Who's there? Not there anymore. The dark silhouette of a figure can be seen standing in a room right across from Alex. Now, Alex doesn't notice the figure at first, but when he moves towards the door, he realizes that something is not quite right. He inspects the room to make sure no one is there, but he gets the unsettling feeling that he's being watched. Alex no longer feels safe in the remote building and all by himself. Yeah. So he decides to just... It's like I keep saying, I'm gonna say it in every video, don't go to these places by yourself at night in the woods. If I ever make merch, I'm putting that on a shirt. Get out of there. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Hunting the Unknown, the thing from the cave. Japanese paranormal investigators Gachan, Daichan, and Yasuke are contacted by one of their viewers about a bizarre picture they took in an allegedly haunted cave in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. The picture shows what appears to be a woman peeking from a rock inside the caves. The location is said to be a paranormal hotspot, and many visitors claim to have seen the mysterious apparition of a lady uh, well, dressed all in We are in cemetery. Life. It's late. Have cemeteries always been put in, ca in caves in certain regions of the world? Because that's true, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. And at night, when the clip store team carefully make their way deep underground into the cave system uh. to search for the spot where the photo was taken. Uh. <laughs> That's the same spot. I guess they found the spot. The clip store team manages to find the exact location of the photo. But now, with all three members so huh. cramped in such a tiny cave tunnel, Yasuke and Daichan decide to head back out and wait in the car. But would they just Chan leave him in there? Behind to listen and look for oh my strange. god. Chan has been in the dark cave for about 20 minutes when this happens.
っ恋線やった今えちょっと待ってマジちょっととりあえず続けるかいや怖いな普通に While sitting in the dark, Kachan is a little freaked out when he suddenly hears what sounds like a woman crying from somewhere deep within the caves. Meanwhile, waiting back in the car, Yasuke and Dai Chan. I'm pissed that he went in, stayed in there by himself. Because what if something happened in the cave? His friends wouldn't know until they went looking for him and he would already be dead. I mean, he went with people, but still. They should have at least stuck together. Also, experience something terrifying. Like what? <laughs> ドクツっていうのもあるけど、やっぱそこがすごいよね。そうね、なんか雰囲気が違うもんね、やっぱ。ね。うん。あと、コウモリエグかったね。ああ、よかったね。いや、前来た時ね、全部冬眠しとったけ
It was a little hard to hear that time. Did you hear her? Yes. You hear her? That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? Come on. And a door opens by itself. Night shift worker Veronica explains that she believes that several ghosts haunt the Baylor Hospital, but she says that one of them, the ghost of a young girl, can often be heard laughing and singing throughout the hallways, as if trying to reach out to the staff. So is the hospital haunted by the spirit of a young girl? Let me know what you think. The Mysterious Mannequin Mannequin. This eerie clip was posted by TikTok user The Truth okay. 440. All right. Well, in that case, don't send this to Markiplier because he really hates mannequins. Four. The video shows a tourist in Paris stopping at the storefront of the famous and very controversial brand Balenciaga. The woman notices something in the store window. Balenciaga. It's truly. Wait, why? It's disturbing. controversial. Okay, people, tell me something. So this is a store in Paris. Balenciaga. This is a man store in Paris, and this is a, a um, mannequin that they say that they made this <laughs> and put this in the store. This boy look like somebody dead and bomb. Look at his hand. Wait, I'm doing it through the hole. Look at the boy hands. Look, the hands. His hands, his hands is as real as mine. The woman is freaked out by a mannequin that looks just <clears throat> a little bit too real. But things are about to get even weirder. Watch closely. If anybody have this guy missing, please. This is crazy. I've never seen anybody look so freaking real. How you have this man in a store sit on? Look. Look at that. You see? This, this is friggin' crazy. Look at the, look in the guy eye. What is it? And them said they made this mannequin. And put Did it move? And have him sit down in the window. Look at the guy friggin' face. He's in Paris. If you know anyone that missing a black son, look like this. He's in Paris in the store in the window. The mannequin suddenly appears to be looking directly at the woman. Viewers of the video are creeped out by the sudden change in position and some even swear they could see the mannequin blinking. The video gets a massive amount of attention as viewers begin to make wild claims that the multi-billion dollar fashion brand Balenciaga has embalmed one of their models and that the mannequin isn't a mannequin at all, but is in fact a missing model by the name of Christopher Tyler. The claims become even stronger after Christopher Tyler seems to drop offline. He stops modeling and mysteriously his Instagram account is suddenly set to private. People became so huh. disturbed by the ultra lifelike mannequin's resemblance to model Christopher Tyler that Chris had to actually post an Instagram live addressing that he was safe and actually very much alive. Like, I appreciate everybody concerned, but you know, you can't feed into whatever you see on the internet. Nah, you a clone, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a fake page. They clone me. <laughs> everything, everything in the book. Everything in the book. But all of this really doesn't explain why this creepy mannequin seems to stare at this tourist who gets too close. The hospital visitor. Okay, last one. This next creepy video was posted to the internet without a source. It is said that the video was taken by a patient in a hospital in Indonesia. Allegedly, he recorded the video to reassure his friends and family that he's safe and in good hands. But when he looks back at his own footage, he sees something so disturbing that he no longer feels safe at all. What does he see? What? A dark figure veiled in black can be seen watching over another patient. Now, that on its own is not that scary, but the man recording the video claims that there was no one there at the time. He says that there was no dark figure. Now, many viewers of the video have said that the eerie figure appears to be floating and that they believe the apparition might be the Grim Reaper, patiently awaiting the patient's death. But I'll leave that up to you to decide. Okay, so it was, this one wasn't too overly scary. Well, to me, it wasn't. 
But with the thing, whole thing with the attempted kidnapping and the dog saving alive of the kid, that was more scary to me. Because like Nuke said, and I've said in previous videos, people are more scarier than ghosts. Because ghosts, they can't truly harm you. But a person could do whatever they want to you. So don't make sure you're in a nice place when you are living in an it living in an area. Just make sure it's a nice place. But um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe all that stuff, guys, and I will see you in the next reaction video. Bye.